she's the most friendliest. She's the friendliest. So the day that we opened the pie shop in Madison Heights, this little boy was born along with his sister Madison. Madison Heights and this is John R. So we opened our seventh pie shop in Madison Heights on John R. And here's Maddie. Maddie, she's the littlest one. She was the last one to be born and she was a lot smaller than her big brother. Yeah. So these guys have coats on just to keep their undercoat free of veg matter, VM. I got to learn how to spin wool. As a spinner, any spinner wants to have a really clean fleece where you're not sitting there, you know, after it's been cleaned and carded and combed and put into roving, then you get it back from the wool mill and you get to spin it on your spinning wheel. If it's got all this little straw and seeds and things like that, pickers and it's not fun to spin. You're constantly stopping and trying to pick it out of there. So you really need to invest in these little coats. Jamie was born first and it was right around when the first photos from the James Webb telescope started to circulate around and it was just so amazing. So we ended up choosing Jamie Webb. She was a little, a little you. Then the next batch was Butters Babies and they didn't have names for a few days and we had a little ram and a little ewe and I'd never had baby lambs before so I was really worried and concerned as a first time baby lamb mom and one of the things they tell you to look for is if, they're, if their little tummies are getting fat and plump that means they're nursing and they're getting milk. The little boy, he was just as skinny as a pencil. But little baby Lauren, her little belly was getting nice and round and she looked like she was really thriving. But then as the days went on, about a day and a half, two days in, her little stomach started bloating way too big. And then I thought that something was wrong and she got real lethargic and she started having diarrhea. We got a thumb veterinarian clinic to come out here about 10 o'clock at night. It was Dr. Lauren. She spent a couple of hours with us. She was here till after midnight at least with this little teeny four pound baby lamb, examining her and giving her an IV of fluids and then putting her on antibiotics. Yeah, so Dr. Lauren came out, spent a couple of hours with us and she said she, she's just got a 50-50 chance of making it through the night. But uh, you know, once we gave her fluids, she started to perk up a little bit better and then I had to give her uh, a shot in the neck every day for 10 days. What the doctor thought she had was uh, called rumen drinker, where when they're nursing, it bypasses the very first stomach out of the four stomachs. The very first stomach is very important because that's the stomach that any bacteria that they're picking up out here in the pasture uh, gets killed in that first stomach acid there in that very first stomach before it passes on to the other stomachs. Anyway the bacteria wasn't getting killed and that's what was causing her to bloat up. So we were so thankful for this young uh, female doctor, veterinarian, who just loved animals. You could just tell that she was just so passionate about animals and she was so loving and caring and she was so concerned she called me back the next day. So that's when we decided to name little baby Lauren after her doctor. So her, her official name on her registry is Dr. Uh, baby Dr. Lauren <laughs> instead of like butterscotch cream pie. <laughs> so a little bit about Shetland sheep. They came from the Shetland Isles in Great Britain uh, they're very rugged animals, even though they're very small. They're very petite for a sheep. The females only get to be about oh, 60, 70 pounds full grown, and the males are about 80 pounds full grown. And they have such a really fine fleece. The microns uh, and the crimp and the softness of Shetlands are just really wonderful for making baby clothes and scarves and things that you might wear around your neck or gloves and hats and sweaters. We were so happy to have these babies born on our farm. 
every night we would go out with our folding chairs and sit here and just sit in the pasture and watch them play and jump around on over top of each other and run around and play and it was just so entertaining and so enjoyable they're the cutest things these shetlands are so small when they were born they were only like four or five pounds they were like little puppies so i think of us breeding the ewes and having these little babies and i was thinking about having these wonderful fleeces with long staple length and beautiful colors that Shetland sheep will give you. But mostly we had these babies, I realize now that they have just brought so much joy to our hearts. <laughs>